Hey all, Alex here at your home of the Music Deep Dive, and today it's time for a review of the 1985 biography by K. Jack Bauer, Zachary Taylor, soldier, planter, statesman of the Old Southwest. Now, um, I read uh, one other book, reviewed one other book by K. Jack Bauer not too long ago. It was his history of the Mexican War. Um, I'm going to be honest, it was well done in the sense of being a uh, scholarly and well-researched work, uh, but I was not especially uh, a fan of the prose. I thought it was very dull at times, very kind of day-by-day -day factual and didn't really um, invigorate the material with any kind of literary intrigue. Um, now, granted, there's only so much you can do with subject matter like that, and in fact, there's even less that you can do uh, with Zachary Taylor, as we find out. Um, Zachary Taylor, if you're not familiar, 12th president of the United States, um, was kind of a, I guess, a lifelong military man beforehand, served in the War of 1812, most famously served in the Mexican-American War, uh, became kind of a war hero, gained a lot of popular acclaim for that, which is why he ended up winning the Whig Party nomination for the presidency in 1848. He won the election, uh, but was only in the White House for about a year and a half before he died in 1850. Now, <clears throat> the thing about Taylor, and you read this certainly in this book, but you also read it in other kind of narratives from the time period, uh, Taylor was not a very politically aware person. He got into the office because of his popularity amongst the general public, um, and in fact, people um, you read this multiple times here, people say that he was uh, not the brightest bulb, uh, not someone of much uh, intellectual acumen, as I think one person put it. Um, and this comes across certainly during his time as a general, but most frequently during his time as a political candid and, uh, candidate, and then later on as the president. Um, now, some people have taken this to uh, mean in the context of this book, that Bauer has contempt for his subject. I don't know if I would quite say that, because that seems to be a pretty consistent reading of Taylor, is that he was just not very smart, um, not very politically aware. But I do think this means that Bauer has a tough time kind of figuring out what to make of Taylor and how to really portray him. Um, and he kind of admits as much in kind of the intro and then at the ending of the book saying he's Taylor's just kind of an enigma of a personality and there's not really much understanding of him. Um, strengths wise, again, it's very well researched, but you have to remember that the bulk of this book is surrounded around Taylor's military activities because that was the uh, main, that was kind of the biggest portion of his life was tackling that and was um, fighting in battles, fighting in wars. So you were going to get a lot of those same kind of complaints that I had about the Mexican War book, where it is very step-by-step, -step, um, very kind of um, calendar-oriented, I suppose, and there's not a whole lot of other like deeper conclusions that are really being made. Uh, this might interest some people, especially people who really like getting into the weeds of military history. Um, at least at that, um, right now, I'm not quite at that point. Um, it is interesting, though, to kind of read the assessment of Taylor as a politician, seeing how he kind of bumbled his way into the Whig Party nomination, even though he would write letters to people and uh, kind of news editorials and stuff like that, saying how he, you know, didn't believe in parties and just wanted to do the best he could for the American public, and the Whigs didn't like that. Um, it's This book actually made me laugh out loud at points with how just kind of incompetent Taylor was. Um, so when, when he dies at the end, um, it's not really kind of portrayed as an American tragedy, I suppose. I think a lot of people, you know, it's not clear whether Taylor wanted to run for his second term, um, but I think a lot of people um, probably could guess that he was probably going to be a one-term president just because uh, people didn't really want to work with him um, in the long run. But as far as a book goes, it's good. This is a well-done biography. Um, it's just that Taylor is not a, I mean, he's, he's someone who you can't really go beyond surface level because there just isn't that much to explore. And as far as Zachary Taylor biographies go, there ain't much out there. This is the best and most accessible biography that's been written in the last hundred years about Zachary Taylor. So um, that's not much of a recommendation, but 
Um, if you are someone who is doing a deep dive on some of these more obscure presidents, especially the pre-Civil War era presidents, um, I, I see no reason to not give this a go. Just understand that you're going to be limited in the conclusions that you draw from this. It's going to be a very neutral experience as far as biographies go, as far as living with a person's life story goes. Um, it's very neutral. It's very neutral, but it is well done neutral. So I will give it that. Uh, Zachary Taylor by K. Jack Bauer is uh, well done neutral. And with that, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, more reviews are to come. Tell a friend as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time right here at your home of the Music Deep Dive.